Good evening, fourth graders. Um, we're going to continue with multiplying strategies today. Um, I've already showed you the partial products multiplication strategy. Um, but today, I'm going to show you how to multiply two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers with the partial product strategy instead of four-digit numbers by one-digit numbers. So go ahead and write this title down on your next free page. And after you have done so, please put your pencil in your notebook and close it up to just listen and concentrate for the I do's. All right, so to remind you how the partial products method, I'm actually even going to remind you why I taught you the partial products method to begin with. Um, remember, we talked, you know, for a while about some of your third grade strategies. And we ran, you know, we ran into some issues with numbers being too complicated for them. So, you know, we talked about, like, groups, arrays, and repeated addition. And um, they're great strategies, and I encourage you to remember them and to keep using them when they work. When we multiplied numbers like this. You know, we ran into groups not being really possible. Like, I couldn't make that many groups. Um, or I couldn't, I could make eight groups, but I couldn't put that many things in the groups. And even if I did, it'd be too many things to count. An array is the same thing. I don't want to make an array with this many rows or columns. And even if I did, I wouldn't want to count all of them. Uh, repeated adding was okay. It would have been possible, I think, to do. Um, you could have probably added those eight times and been okay. So when we talk about the two-digit by two-digit numbers, you know, if I want to multiply something like 35 times 78, now I really can't do any of these. Like, I don't even, I, I, I can't add 35 78 times. It's just not a reasonable thing to do. Or 78 35 times. It's just not possible. So our new multiplication strategies get even more important um, as we make our numbers greater and greater. So let's do one together with the partial products method with two digits times two digits. So a landscaper gets paid $72 for a yard he mows for the whole growing season, which is 28 weeks. How much money does he make from mowing this yard? So he's going to make 72 times $28. All right, so I'm going to have four partial products here. Here's how I'm going to do them. So I'm going to start with my... 8. So I start my bottom number, and I'm going to multiply my 8 by both numbers in the other factor. So my first partial product is going to be 8 times 2, which is 16, lining everything up. My next partial product is going to be 8 times, not 70, not 7 rather, that's in the tens place, but 70. So 8 times 70. 8 times 7 is 56, and then I have a 0 from multiplying by 10, so 560. So now I've done 8 times 2 and 8 times 70. I also need to do, I'll switch colors, I also need to do 20 times both numbers in the other factor as well. So my next partial product is going to be 20, not 2, because it's in the tens place, 20 times 2 which is 40, and 20 times 70 is my other partial prop, or my other set of factors. 2 times 7 is 14, and I've got a 0 from each factor that I need to conclude. I didn't do 2, I did 20, so times 10, times 10 again. So I'm going to get 100 worth of zeros. So 1,400. So now here are my partial products. 16 is a partial product, 560 is a partial product, 40 is a partial product, 1400 is a partial product. So now I'm going to take my four partial products and I'm going to add those together. 11, 10, and our diligent landscaper is going to make $2,016 from his yard mowing. So that's my partial products method. Very similar to when we did uh, times one digit, but I've got to deal with my tens place. Let's do one together. Open your notebook up. And here's our question. 29 fourth graders in a class 
all bring in a dozen donuts for Volunteer Appreciation Week. How many donuts is that? If you don't know the word dozen, dozen means 12. So all these people are going to bring in 12 donuts. So I'm going to take my 29 fourth graders, and I'm going to multiply it by 12 donuts each. It's going to be a lot of donuts. If you have two colors handy, sometimes I like to do two-digit partial products with two colors. I'm going to do that. You don't have to, but sometimes it helps me keep things organized. So I'm going to work from my bottom number, and I'm going to start with my ones place, and I'm going to multiply it by both digits in the other factor, both values in the other factor, really. So my first partial product is 2 times 9, which is 18. And my second partial product is 2 times, not 2, because it's in the tens place, 2 times 20. 2 times 20 is 40. Okay. I'm going to change colors. And now I'm going to multiply, use my other place in my second factor. And same thing, I'm going to multiply it by both parts of the number above. So my next partial product is going to be 10 times 9, not 1 times 9, it's in the tens place. 10 times 9, which is 90. And then my last partial product is going to be 10 times 20. 2 times 1, we have to work that one out. 1 times 2 is 2, times 10, and times 10 again, so I'm going to have two zeros like I'm multiplying by 100. And now I have four partial products. Partial product, partial product, partial product, partial product, and I can add them together to get my total product. 8 ones, 13, 14, 10s, and 300s. 348 donuts brought for those volunteers. Those are some lucky volunteers. Hope they made some good flavors and good choices. So that's the partial product with a two-digit times a two-digit number. Uh, once you have finished this up in your notebook, um, you are done for the day. Unless you spaced out or you need to go back or there was something you need to see again. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow and we'll do your you do's then.